Hello everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I am Atiku Rahman, NAWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. So today I am going to show you how you can connect to your Windows uh, servers in AWS from your uh, Ubuntu. So let's get started the process. I am here in my uh, EC2 uh, dashboard where I can see all my running instances, elastic IP addresses, all those things. So the process will be here is I will create a new instance using a uh, Windows Server and then I will connect to that Windows Server using uh, administrator RDP access. So let's get started. I am going to create a new instance here, launch instance and then I am going to go for free tier and search for Windows. We have Windows 2019 and 2190 uh, as well, and there are some 2016 server and 2012 as well. All these are available. So I'm going to create on 2019. So let's try this. T2 micro, that's fine. Number of instance one, network subnet as keep all as default join domain join directory not required i am role not required okay the size is 30 bits that's fine not encrypted it's fine i'm going to add a tag here Then I go to uh, configure security groups. I have already uh, created a security group, so I can just use this. So uh, basically, I will open my RTP port that is 3389 public HTTP and HTTPS. So let's continue. I have a Windows PM file already created, but I can create a new one as well. Let's create a new one. It's 27th of July. Windows. Download the key here. And then uh, launch instances. Awesome. So uh, we are here on AWS, but still we are uh, using uh, Windows 2019. So uh, AWS provides all sorts of uh, OS in their uh, list, whether it can be Ubuntu, CentOS, or Red Hat, Windows, all, all of those, Oracle Linux, all of those. So uh, it's now uh, starting my instance, so it will probably take one or two minutes uh, to get started. Then uh, I will connect to uh, the Windows uh, server from my uh, Ubuntu machine if you have Windows then you can just uh, connect using RTP connection provider but I am in uh, Ubuntu so I have a uh, tool that can guide me that is RTP yeah Remania so let's connect to Remania okay I need to have uh, two or three things first of all the IP address that's in it so let's create uh, this is the IP address the username is administrator that's fine I just uh, need the password so how do I get the passwords so uh, let's you, I am selecting that instance here as you can see and then clicking on connect and here you see you have the public DNS the username and the password and you can get your password uh, it will take around four minutes so let's try again okay here is the password so uh, this is the public DNS this is the username and this is the password copy it 
close. That's it. Now I can connect to I just give his dummy domain name here. The resolution is 648, but I can use the client resolutions. And the color depth I use 16 BPP, but you can change as you want. So let's uh, connect and save. Let's try. Okay, great. So now, as you can see, I am now connecting to that Windows server from my Ubuntu machine and it's uh, doing some initial configurations all sorts of things awesome here you can see I have now connected with my ins Windows server and uh, there will be some basic things over there let's let's see everything here Windows CMD, command prompt, all sorts of things. Okay, um, this is a pretty basic uh, tutorial on how you can create your Windows servers in uh, AWS and connect to that Windows server using uh, passwords from your Windows machine or Ubuntu machine. I have just shown Ubuntu. I will show in a different uh, tutorial on how you can connect RDP using your Windows machine as well. And also I will set up uh, a PHP and uh, Apache and other softwares over there in the next tutorial. So uh, get tuned to see my next tutorial on setting up those other tools. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice day. Bye.